So look at the cure, I think, tells us something, of course. Uh, Dr. Dean Ornish has done a really good job with people who have severe cardiovascular disease, and he puts them on a strict diet, which is basically a vegetarian diet. That means a plant-based diet, a high-fiber diet, loaded with vitamins and nutrients and good things that grow on the ground, or at least ground that's organically tended. Ornish also has a new uh, stress reduction and these people are able to arrest or reverse cardiovascular disease in a year or two without surgery. That's impossible, and yet it isn't. Ornish has published a number of papers, a number of books on this. He's a fully qualified physician. In fact, he's an eminently qualified doctor. And all he's doing is giving people a plant-based diet and having them do stress reduction. And these people are arresting and reversing cardiovascular disease, the kind of cardiovascular disease that would normally require open heart surgery, that would require um, multiple bypass grafts. Did I mention it was safer? Did I mention it was cheaper? And it works very well. Therefore, why don't all cardiologists recommend this approach? Well, in fairness, not all of them have studied it. In fairness, not all their patients would do it. And in fairness, the drug companies have something to say about it. Did you notice there are no drugs in there at all? <laughs> There's just like no drug therapy at all. It's just meditation and vegetarian diet. There, there's, there's no profit in this. So the money is in disease, cardiovascular disease, the number one killer. It isn't cancer, it's cardiovascular disease. It's the number one killer of women too. No, it's not breast cancer, it's cardiovascular disease. Women just die of cardiovascular disease a little older than men do, but cardiovascular disease is the number one killer. In fact, about half of all deaths are from cardiovascular disease. And in half of those deaths, the first symptom is death. So people can go through their life for decades with no symptoms at all and then drop dead. And then, of course, it's too late. It's too late for a drug. It's too late for a bypass. It's too late for the ambulance. It's too late for resuscitation. The only way to win is not to play. And that requires that they change their life. And Ornish has shown that cardiovascular disease is a disease of civilization. It is a lifestyle disease because we're eating too much of the wrong thing the right thing and your grandmother said it and her grandmother said it and everybody knows it's true but instead it's fast food and meat and fat and sugar and starch and processed food that has few vitamins and don't take vitamin supplements because they might hurt you of course cardiovascular disease <laughs> that's not the risk we have to change this around the solution to cardiovascular disease is embarrassingly simple. If we look at animal research, we know how to make an animal get a heart attack. We know how to make an animal have a hardened arteries, or clogged arteries. It's true with people. This is not new knowledge. Uh, doctors Wilford and Evan Shute were reversing cardiovascular disease with vitamin E, E as in Edward, back in the 1930s. Before Pearl Harbor, the Shutes were treating cardiovascular disease with wheat germ oil and then with purified vitamin E. And then in the 40s and 50s, the shoots were treating all kinds of other illnesses with vitamin E. And then in around 1960, the United States Post Office convicted them of mail fraud for mailing vitamin E to people. The fact that it was curing people for decades did not really seem to matter but the audacity of sending 30 international unit vitamin E capsules through the mail, that was naughty. Dying from cardiovascular disease, our government has nothing but sympathy for the people who are dead. But now if you want to try and cure it, no one's going to help you. Physicians have been taught that nutrients are not scientific, they're not medical, they're not therapeutic. And high doses, the doses that work, are rarely tested. When nutrients are tested as therapy, they use very low doses. And that's why the public and physicians see all these research papers that 
show ambiguous results. One study is published and says vitamins help a little bit. Another study is published that says vitamins don't help very much. And you have this back and forth. But the problem is because all of those studies are low-dose studies. The shoots were using 1,600 to 3,600 international units of vitamin E a day. In the most perfectly designed diet, you can't possibly get more than 100 units of vitamin E. And that would be almost impossible to do. You'd have to consume a lot of olive oil, a lot of nuts, a lot of sprouted grains. To say that the cure for cardiovascular disease is something along the line of eating right and taking vitamins is new knowledge. But that's the answer. The cause of cardiovascular disease